Good day, learners! At this point, you have surely learned about the different types of an essay, as well as the various approaches to literary criticism. This quarter, we will focus more on the basics of research paper writing. I know you are excited to learn, so let us begin! What is research? Research is a process of systematic inquiry that entails collection of data, documentation of critical information, and analysis and interpretation of that data or information, in accordance with suitable methodologies set by specific professional fields and academic disciplines. Research is conducted to evaluate the validity of a hypothesis or uninterpretive framework to assemble a body of substantive knowledge and findings for sharing them in appropriate manners and to generate questions for further inquiries. Simply put, research is collecting data and information, learning and finding new things. It is also an advanced knowledge which follows a systematic process of collecting and analyzing information in order to understand more the phenomena under study. Dear researchers, please keep in mind that research writing follows a process and that you must show honesty while writing one, meaning you should never plagiarize nor manipulate the results of your study. What are the examples of research? Basically, we have action research, thesis, dissertation, and case study. How about the two main types of research? First, we have quantitative as pronounced in American English and quantitative in British English. Second, Qualitative in American English and Qualitative in British English. How are they different from one another? Quantitative research is usually expressed in numbers and graphs. Hence, it is called a formal, objective, systematic process in which numerical data is used to obtain information about the world. Quantitative research proves hypothesis by statistical analysis and scientific method. Quantitative research is also used to test or confirm theories and assumptions. It gathers data through experiments and surveys with close-ended questions, and it is used to describe variables and examine relationship among them. Meanwhile, qualitative research is descriptive and gathered data are usually expressed in words. It is used to understand concepts based on the participants' thoughts or experiences which are gathered through interviews, focus group discussions, and open-ended questionnaires. Through the interviews and observations, the significance of the relationship between variables are measured. Finally, qualitative research involves small amount of participants. Let us now move to the elements and parts of a research paper. What are they? Yes, we have the title, author, abstract and keywords, introduction, methods, results, discussion and conclusion, and references. The title, of course, depends on the topic that you worked on. And this can be found on the title page together with the authors or name of the researchers. 
while abstract is the summary of your entire research paper. Below or at the bottom part of your abstract are the keywords which represent the main concepts of your research topic and are commonly called as search terms. Second part is the introduction. It includes the research questions that you, as a researcher, aim to answer. It also establishes the scope and limitations or the extent of your study as well as its significance or benefits. It also shows background information about the variables which can be supported by citing existing studies. And lastly, introduction includes the purpose or importance of the study, hypothesis or predictions about what your research will find, and potential outcomes or what you want to happen after your study is completed. Third part is the method or research methodology. It serves as a guide that discusses the details on what data to collect, either qualitative or quantitative, how to collect it, who to collect it from, and how to analyze it. Fourth part includes the results. The results are the findings from the data that you have collected from your study. The data should be arranged based on the research questions being addressed using graphs, charts, and tables to be easily understood by the readers. It is also important that you provide discussion of the significant findings of your study. Then after that, you can now write the conclusion. It is where the key findings are summarized and arranged in a manner that answers your research problem. Do not forget to use references from existing studies to have a strong conclusion. Finally, right after the recommendations, make sure to include all your references. These are the materials that you, as a researcher, cited when writing the paper. The references will also serve as a guide for other researchers to look at the existing studies that you cited in your paper. And that's it! Again, what are the parts of a research paper? That's right! We have the title, author, abstract, and keywords, introduction, methods, results, discussion, and conclusion, and references. Now, let me leave you with this quote from Gotha. Everything is hard before it is easy. You may find it difficult to understand or write a research paper, but as soon as you try to read more informative articles, act and write some, you will soon find it easy, and more importantly, beneficial. Once again, I am Teacher MD. Thank you for watching. Have a great day ahead.